We had a 19-year-old African-American man slain last night. And to his family, and to his friends, and to this community, that is a loss. That is a tragic loss for which all of us, all of us who have families with, particularly myself, I have two adult sons myself. I couldn't even begin to try to get my hands around the enormity of the loss and the tragic consequences of what their family and friends are grappling with. And in this sense, I would like to extend from me and the Madison Police Department, of course, our most sincerest condolences for the loss of that life. I implore those leaders in our community, those who are titled, and those who lead by action, our de facto leaders, if you will, to follow the direction, as was evidenced by Tony's family, in suggesting that that dissent, that displeasure, that hurt be channeled in a way that is non-destructive to others, that respects others and their property, and that falls within the, the boundaries of tolerance for one another as we all move through a grieving process and a coping process.